Hi, it's Charity and welcome back to the Tiny Town Challenge, a challenge in The Sims 4 by Deligracy. A link to Deligracy's channel will be in the comments as well as a playlist for all of the videos in the series. So guess what? We are now starting with Beatrice. So we finished Opal, we finished Cyprus, and we finished Frank's house. And right now we've started over. We have zero simoleons and we're going to figure out how Beatrice is going to make some money. I have it set to 0% because I'm hoping things sell fast. These things are pretty cheap. So I made some fruit salad. I made some island vegetable feast and I made some chips and salsa. And if this doesn't sell quickly, I'm going to put it back to 300%. Okay, they're buying. It just annoys me how it seems like they don't buy it really well even if it's set at a low price. So why bother to set it at a low price? Why shouldn't you just set it at a 300% markup right away? All right, if it sells this quickly, maybe I'll keep it at 0% for a little while. I just need to make enough money to get some appliances and to get a start. Oh, here's Frank. We should definitely introduce ourselves to the other Tiny Town members. It really doesn't matter about the other people who live in the world, but I want Beatrice to know all of the Tiny Town members. And there's Cyprus. He is the landlord. What I really want to do for Beatrice is buy a restaurant, but I'm not sure how feasible that's going to be because I have been having trouble with Dine Out. Even with Dine Out Reloaded, which is Carl's mod, it doesn't seem to be working for me and I can't figure out why. But we will of course complete her Appliance Wiz aspiration first and then maybe think about buying a restaurant. Even if we don't get to run it, I think it would be a good start for her because it proves that she can take her food to the next level. And the nice thing about the fire pit is that you can actually cook food while you're not at it. Well, it doesn't seem like they're being too eager to buy. Maybe I'll mark up the prices just a little bit, maybe 25%. It says customers will be less likely to purchase something. I don't believe that because I've tested this and marking it up to 300% at least with the other selling table, I don't see a difference. Yeah, see, they're buying just as much at 25% as they did at 0%. We'll leave it at 25% for a while. Maybe the rule will be that we have to get our charisma level up in order to raise it further. Can we try to make a sales pitch to someone? That will actually get our charisma level up a little bit. Why are you shouting forbidden words at Opal? Opal was nice enough to make you all of your jewelry. So I have three pieces of jewelry from Opal. I have one that stops me from having any needs. I have one that makes it sunny and prevents me from starting a fire while I'm cooking. And one that prevents me from burning out on creative tasks. Or at least slows it down. You should be friends with Opal. Oh, I forgot Lovestruck doesn't come out until tomorrow for public access. I wanted to get Beatrice on the dating app, but I guess I'll have to wait until next time. Okay, we made 124 simoleons with our first sale. What I might do is try to compare that to the selling table. While the food stall does sell individual portions, the selling table actually sells all of them at once. I wonder which one is better. And, okay, she's cleaning up. I was about to say, you better not be eating it. I want to get some of the appliances, but I'm afraid if I do get some of them that they won't work really because I have simple living on this lot and I want her to use ingredients, not simoleons, to cook things. And it seems like the home chef hustle stuff is not really compatible with simple living. Oh no. What are you doing out here, Bill? Is it still daytime? He doesn't look like he's smoldering. Maybe you're fine. I hope you're fine. Okay, I got 32 simoleons. Okay, the island vegetable feast is worth 32 simoleons. 
And the chips and salsa is also worth 32 simoleons with a 300% markup. Yeah, this is definitely not as good for selling food. I just wanted to try and see maybe they were the same, but no, they are definitely not the same. Okay, we can actually buy a grinding mill, and this is actually good because I want to make my own sugar and flour. So I think that'll probably be the first order of business is to get that going. And I have a mod for this. It's by Brazen Lotus. It's actually uh, really good. I've had this before. And we can make our own sugar and flour so that it actually is free to make sugar and flour. Okay, um, I need to buy the seeds though. Oh, and that did count as a small kitchen appliance. Okay. Okay, we're level two of the charisma skill, so I'm going to allow her to mark it up to 50% now. Every time we gain a skill level in charisma, I will go one more around this wheel. Hey, that's my spot, Letitia. I'm supposed to be tending the table. What are you doing? Are you tending my table? Or are you just standing there? It's kind of weird that you're standing back here. Okay, I think she was just standing there for some reason. Yeah, Bill, I don't think you'd be interested in this food since you're a vampire. Maybe I should grow some plasma fruit and make some plasma fruit dishes for him. And then Cookie is also a vampire. I don't know why she keeps coming to my sales. Okay, now we're level three. Oh, now we have the option to try and convince someone to buy something. Why are you being so mean with everyone, Beatrice? You don't seem to be like the mean person. You're outgoing, you're cheerful, you're a foodie. Why are you just mean? Why? She keeps trying to yell at people. She acts like she's upset, but she doesn't have any upset buffs. So I don't know what's going on with that. Oh, I got my mail. Why are you cleaning up, Beatrice? Come on, we need to go get the mail. That has my seeds in it. Um, okay. I don't see anything in the mailbox other... Oh, this one has... not For some reason, this one doesn't have the mail, but this one does over here. Okay, we have sugarcane, which is in all seasons... And then we have wheat, which is only in fall. And I'm just going to plant them in here under shelter so that I can be sure that they will grow. Oh, it's the welcome wagon. I suppose we should be nice and let the people in. Maybe they'll help clean up around here. And maybe I can get that fruit cake. There it is. Mine. That sells for a lot more than what I make, I think. And we are level 4 of the Charisma skill. We are also level 4 cooking. This fire pit gets your cooking skill up really fast. And all you have to do is put something in it. Oh no, 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 no. Bill, why are you out in daylight? Okay. Um, yeah, I am going to have to veto that. You are not dying. Let's go ahead and plead with him. I don't know if I will be able to succeed. And, oh, <laughs> the crystal trees kind of um died. I was about to say, I don't know if I have that grim reaper one but i don't okay we'll just plead for bill and if it doesn't work i'm going to switch over to opal and resurrect him anyway or maybe i should just add him back as a ghost well no i'll probably just resurrect him and give him sunlight proofness uh whatever you want to call it sun resistance no okay that did not work 
but that's okay. We will fix it. Don't worry, Beatrice. Don't worry, Opal. I don't think that he should be allowed to die like that. Can't say I didn't see it coming, though. Vampires in daylight don't mix. Where is the grave? Come on. That's not fair. Well, I'll fix it. No worries. Even if I don't have a grave, I can get one. Ah, it went in my inventory. Okay, let me just switch over to Opal real quick, and we will fix this. Okay, now that that's all fixed, back to Beatrice. Yeah, I don't like vampires. For some reason, they insist on being out during the day. The game really shouldn't allow them to do that. They should be inside their homes, unless they have sun resistance. I had to level them up to like a grand master, and then basically buy sun resistance and a bunch of other things just to make it worthwhile. I mean, I don't like doing that, but I'm not interested in playing his family right now, and he shouldn't die just because the game is stupid. Once again, I'm asking for your support for the Power Conservation Neighborhood Action Plan. It's going up for a vote, but currently tech support is predicted to win. We need every sim to get out there and vote. Can we trust that we'll have your support? I've never seen one of these. Uh, I'm saying I don't vote. No, I want to be with Opal because I don't really care which neighborhood action plan is enacted. And I want Opal to like me. Maybe I'll go vote just to be sure. Okay, she wanted power conservation, which, oh man, that's going to suck. That turns off the power. No, I'm just going to say no. And we haven't enacted any neighborhood action plans because I'm not really doing this. I don't know why it's asking me. I thought I had these disabled, actually. Okay, buy my stuff. I have 439 simoleons, but I need more. I can't build a house with just this much. Oh yeah, the fruitcake. We should see how much the fruitcake sells for. I mean, it's a gourmet dish. I think it sells for more. I'm not sure. Some dishes don't sell for anything, so you have to be careful about that. Oh, and we want to keep an eye out for a good farm dog, because Beatrice is going to have a little farm over here. Oh, you look cute. This is Tom, and he kind of looks like a Springer Spaniel mix. I mean, his hair is not long enough to be a Springer Spaniel, but he looks like a farm dog. Oh, I got four sugar cane. That's not a whole lot. Maybe we'll make that into sugar. I didn't get any wheat, though, did I? It doesn't look like it. And we'll give Tom a treat. Oh no, it says tech support received the most votes, even though I know no one could vote for anything. Okay, I was hoping the fruitcake would be more expensive since it's a gourmet food item, but it's not. It's only 14 simoleons, even after the markup. It's the same as my island vegetable feast. Oh, I think Peter Reedy is a vampire. I just saw him have a low power level so you might want to go inside peter and he's throwing up because he ate my food okay oh i think people are throwing up because of the grody lot trait okay that makes more sense okay cypress you're not allowed to be here unless you're going to buy something okay we have prisma level five and cooking level five that means 100% markup. Wow, it's 750 simoleons for the Chow Bella stand mixer. And nothing else really makes prepped ingredients. So I will have to buy that sooner or later. Why is Beatrice always so mad? I don't understand. She has no reason to be mean, but she's just always mean. Okay, Beatrice likes gardening. That's good. 
Gen Z. Well, what's nice about the appliances is that you can actually use them while you're still at the and stall. Now, and if you disable auto you. stock, you can put them in your food oh, stall like and they won't go bad as quickly. If you have auto stock on, though, she will stock the table with them. And I don't want to sell them as raw ingredients. Oh no, we're getting some sort of earthquake or volcanic bomb. Oh, that's a long one. They usually don't last that long. And everybody's panicking. Oh no, there's a fire. Um, never mind. I thought there was a fire, but... I don't see one. It's just the mixer. The mixer sound sounds like a fire to me when I'm not paying attention. This isn't bad now. She's actually selling quite fast, even at the 100% markup. This is why I don't like using lower markups, because I don't see that it makes any difference. I guess maybe it does when you're low-level charisma, but I haven't been able to notice that it does. And there's one milestone. All right, what do we need to do next? Experience sped up cooking five times. Okay, um, that might be a problem because it doesn't seem to use my prepped ingredients when I'm off the, well, when I'm using Simple Living. Oh no, why is she yelling at me? What is wrong with you, Letitia? Could we have you go fix the sink, maybe? Oh, I didn't notice all this stuff was probably broken in here. Uh, why are you yelling at her? Uh, okay, fine. Whatever, Beatrice. Go fix the sink, Letitia. Okay, level 6 of the charisma skill, but our cooking is still level 5. Oh, I remember this one. Hello, uh, is this Vinny? Um, no, I'm going to say who. I do not want to make enemies with May. May is an alien. She's from one of my other series, The Lucid Legacy. Um, I'm not going to do this again. Okay, I think I figured out my issue with Carl's Dine Out Reloaded mod. Apparently, one of the bunk beds on the restaurant was bugging the lot. And I removed the bunk bed and I had some other minor issues, but I think everything is resolved now. So we might be able to do a restaurant with Beatrice. And I know she's doing the Home Chef Hustle stuff, but to be honest, that gets to be quite boring after a while because she's just standing in one spot selling from the selling table. And she really doesn't do a whole lot. I mean, I guess we could try and get some rare plants and do some rare recipes, but... I think I might prefer a restaurant and then see if maybe you can do the Home Chef Hustle Station as part of the restaurant. Maybe we'll do some kind of special build where she has a restaurant and then like a quick meal station outside or a food stall station outside. I don't know. It may not work. We'll see. Oh, and I almost forgot. I also solved the issue with the cooking not using the prepped vegetables. And it was because I had a mod that was from Zulf. It was kids can do more. And I had the one that allowed kids to cook. And unfortunately, that was made before Home's Chef Hustle came out. And so that was causing the prepped ingredients never to be used so i have so many mods in this game that do different things and i sometimes forget that i have to check them once in a while and see if they still work i think i was using that in my werewolf let's play and i had removed it from that game and i couldn't figure out why and now i remember why it's because it's not compatible with home chef hustle Oh no, there's a bug infestation. Alright, so we have to stomp out the bugs if we can find them. Because we, not, we might not be able to find them. Sometimes they don't show up, especially since I don't have a lot of area in my current apartment. They're supposed to be in the actual apartment, not anywhere else. So, this might... Oh, we can stomp the bugs. Good. Oh, wow. They are just covering that entire place. Yeah, I only have one small four tile house. And oh no, she can't even get in there. Great. 
Can we even get inside? No. I can't go in build mode. Come on. It's too small in there. Because they're all in the same spot. <laughs> okay. Um, this is going to be an issue. Okay. No, you can't even get inside. They're like glitched into the wall. Okay. Um, that's an issue. Well, whenever this happens... Uh, Oh, right. UI cheats doesn't work anymore. All right. So unfortunately, UI cheats was broken by the Lovestruck pre-patch, which actually Lovestruck is out. So we might be able to get Beatrice a date. But can I go anywhere? Can I travel? I can travel. Maybe I can edit the lot in world mode. Okay, I was able to edit it in world mode, and now I can stomp the bugs. These puddles are just way too big, and there's too many of them. Okay, we got rid of them. We should have at least one food sale, because I need to get some more money. Oh, she auto-stocked. I thought I disabled auto-stock. It is disabled. I guess when you first tend the table, it automatically stocks everything. I wanted to try and sell the food that's going to spoil first. So let me put this back away. Some of this food only has a day left on it. I need to sell that right now. Okay, there we go. Everything on the table has a day left. So if we sell all of this, then we'll work on getting some more food to sell. We have cooking level 7, so we need to get charisma level 7 in order to go up to the next markup. And people are coming in here and sitting at the table. We have a nice table in here, but there are picnic tables outside. I did use Opal's money a little bit to expand the kitchen because I really wanted a stove. The only thing I could make was the chips and salsa and a fruit salad. So I decided to splurge on a stove. We only have about 970 simoleons right now, and it's already Wednesday. Okay, we made a thousand simoleons. That's not bad. For a lot of this stuff, we also need milk and eggs and cheese and bread. So there's still not a lot of options. Oh, and meat. I forgot about meat. So there's so many things that you need in order to cook a decent amount of items. Oh, we could do meat substitute stuff. Okay, let's do some canning. No, it broke. Well, at least I get my ingredients, right? Okay, I did. And we'll just talk to Cypress about fixing our mixer. Uh, it's not on the list. Great. Okay, well, maybe he will autonomously repair it. Or I'm going to have to hire a repair service. Well, that stinks. In the meantime, we'll make some spaghetti. Why do people keep coming to the fridge? Who is coming to the fridge? I want the fridge. Is it Cypress? I think it's Cypress. No. Okay. Cypress is fixing something. I don't know what he's fixing. He's not really standing close to anything. I think maybe the stove. I'm going to have to hire a repair service. I think it will be cheaper than the 375 to replace it. Hopefully. Oh, and someone needs to fix that toilet. Yeah, it was pranked. I'm surprised that someone finally actually used it. The repair person is supposed to be here. I don't see them. Oh, there they are. Finally. You were supposed to be here at 11.43. That's over an hour ago. Well, exactly an hour ago. 
Oh, cook meals using six unique prepped ingredients. Oh, okay. I don't know if I can do that yet. Let's try prepped fruit. Oh, there's prepped meat substitute. I might be able to do that. Okay, we're going to make some veggie sliders. And we've already made a lot of stuff with vegetables because I had a ton of prepped vegetables that I might have going bad sometime soon. Well, I don't see anything at level nine cooking that uses prepped fruit or prepped root vegetables. I guess I'm going to need some milk and bread and cheese in order to expand what I can do because you can do dough which also counts and sweet batter maybe I'll have to try gourmet cooking no all of these are just prepped veggies and sweet batter well I only have level one okay well I need to get some more recipes somehow so maybe we'll focus on trying to sell for now. Well, unfortunately, it's stocking the table with my uh, prepped ingredients because I'm using it as a refrigerator. Maybe I should use the other table as a refrigerator. That's probably better. Because basically, if you put your prepped ingredients in the fridge, people will take them and eat them. So I don't want that to happen. You can use these food stalls and everything as a way to store food. And it's not as good as the refrigerator. It's about 50% as good. So they do last a lot longer in the food stall than they do just sitting out in the open somewhere. And same for this table over here, even though this table has nothing to do with food. You can put food in it. See, the prepped veggies are 8 hours and 50 minutes. And then inside of here, it's 6 days. Oh, wow. That's even more than normal. All right, let's try this. On top of the selling table is 3 days here. In a selling table is 6 days. And in the refrigerator, six days. Okay, I mistakenly thought if it was inside of the selling table that it was the same as being on top of the selling table. Okay, but on top of the selling table is definitely only half as good as being stored inside the selling table. So the selling table is actually a portable fridge. Before we had portable fridges with Discover University. So if you don't have Discover University, you can use one of these selling tables as a portable refrigerator and their base game. Not this one specifically, but other selling tables are, ba are base game. Just go to the gallery and search for Sim Sessions and download that room and there are selling tables in there that you can use just like the selling table that will have the same effect. So I like to store my food in the selling table that I don't like Sims to autonomously eat. And the reason for that is because there's all kinds of things like prepped ingredients or maybe you cooked something and you want your household to have it, but not guests that come over or roommates or anybody else. So that's what the selling table is good for because Sims cannot autonomously eat the food that is in the selling table. They can only eat the food autonomously out of the refrigerator. So by putting it in a selling table, you have to manually take it out in order for the Sim to be able to eat it. Okay, and I did put an attic stack decoration box in this area. And sometimes, not always, but sometimes you can click on it and put up the decorations and then take them down in order to avoid those ugly decorations being up all of the time. I don't know why it does that, but it works for me and sometimes it doesn't. So if you put one in the common area, they can sometimes put the decorations up and then take them down. 
All right, so we need to have more prepped ingredients. I don't <laughs> think that we will be able to do that one though, unless we can get some milk and Luke's maybe regular issues. meat, maybe seafood. We can also so prep much. seafood. So we can either buy it or we can try to go fishing. I think we might actually buy it. So let's order some groceries. I think eventually that I actually want to have goats and chickens, not cows, because cows produce way too much milk. It's like overkill. And I actually have a mod that allows the goats to reproduce. So I think that's a cute addition. I was so disappointed that there's no way to reproduce goats or cows or llamas or sheep. And the reason for that is that I like for farms to be self-sustaining and they can't be self-sustaining if the animals are always dying and you have to buy new animals. So a way around that without disabling animal aging is to actually have a mod that allows them to reproduce. Okay, some of these are less th than a day now, so I really need to get a move on on selling those. Come on, guys. Buy them. Buy them. Buy my stuff. The quill fruit is actually an alien fruit. Now, you can make some pretty expensive pizza with this, so I'm actually going to buy that. I know I probably shouldn't because I'm spending all of my money, but that one is worth it. Okay, I spent a lot of my money on groceries. Everyone is going into the rec center to eat. No one is eating at the tables outside. I mean, I find that a little bit disappointing. I put that table inside for the tiny towners to sit around. But it looks like my guests are preferring the indoors versus the outdoors, which is kind of annoying. Oh, there's the groceries. Um, I guess it went into this refrigerator. It did. Oh, I, I do not want it in there. No way. We are going to put it in the selling table. People will eat my food. No, is someone already taking a piece of my bread? Someone is already taking a piece of my bread. Is it you? No, you are not taking a piece of my bread. Mine is not yours to eat. Come over to my selling table and buy something from me. Don't just randomly eat my food out of the refrigerator. <laughs> this is why the selling tables are so handy. And when you're doing a sale, randomly just send everyone home because that will allow new Sims to spawn on your lot. Okay, we're almost there. I have four left there and one left there. Okay, so only five more that are in danger of spoiling. You know, if you guys aren't going to eat at the, at the picnic tables out here, I might have to sell them and put regular tables and chairs. I don't know. For some reason, they're just not eating at the picnic tables, which kind of makes me sad. I love these little picnic tables with the umbrellas. But... They want to go inside and eat at this round table, which doesn't make a lot of sense. These tables are closer. Maybe I'll set some little tables outside that are round and put chairs around them. And I think there is in a couple of objects that are kind of like umbrellas for decoration. So we can kind of get the same vibe. It just... It's just that it won't be a picnic table. It'll be a table and chairs. And they still may prefer to eat inside. It's only warm, though. It's not really hot. Oh, my sale is over. Okay. And we only had one left. Okay, and this one has one day and 13 hours. That's not that bad. I'll just put it in with everything else. If it spoils, it spoils. There's only one left. Okay, now we need to figure out where we're going to plant this quill fruit. I am definitely not going to use it in an ingredient. I want to plant it. It won't go in the little planters, so we'll just have to put it over here. All right, I still have one more spot for something else. 
in this planter and one more vertical planter one. Oh, I can grow cruelty-free meat. Well, I don't think that that is very good because I can also make meat substitutes out of mushrooms. So I don't see a benefit of growing the cruelty-free meat on these things because they're kind of annoying to harvest. We'll just grow mushrooms. Okay, we did get some blackberries, some grapes, and some soybeans. So what do I not have? I don't have any grapes or blackberries or soybeans. I think grapes are the most distinguishable between these because you can make some good nectar out of them, even though we're not doing nectar. I'm trying to get as much variety as possible. I don't think we need everything though. And maybe I'll just plant the blackberries here. And then if I get something else later on, I might change my mind. We're also getting honey from the honeybees. Although it's poor quality. Okay, so we want to prep some seafood and some meat. Now one thing I have noticed, at least with the prepped meat substitute is that it took every single mushroom conserve or faux meat substitute I had in my inventory to make it. So maybe if I only put one thing in my inventory at a time, it won't take all of them. Oh no, it actually does need three. Okay, I didn't notice that before. It's a zero out of three. So yeah, it makes sense now that it did take all of them but I did not notice that before. Okay, so for prepped meat, I need red meat and white meat, but for prepped red meat, I need three of the red meat. Okay, we'll do that one, and then we'll do another food sale while we're prepping these ingredients. Maybe someone else will clean up my plates for me. Okay, so Beatrice, a perfectionist, that makes her take longer to craft items. I'm not sure I really want the perfectionist one. So many people in Tiny Town are perfectionists. I think I'm going to pass on that one. Oh, we can make roast chicken and we are level 10. We can also make roast tofu chicken. We just need meat substitute. The only downside to storing all your stuff in the selling table is that you can't automatically use them for cooking ingredients. So I put them in the fridge for now just so they won't spoil because I have a ton of them. I think the first order of business for building a house for Beatrice is to build a place for the animals. Wait, why can I make prepped white meat but and prepped red meat, but yet nothing uses it? It just uses prepped meat, which is one white and one red. Nothing in here uses the specific red and white meat. I think that's an oversight, especially since one of them was chicken. Oh, any red meat. Well, but this doesn't say prepped meat. It's sweet batter. And of course, you can't sort by ingredients, so you just have to scroll through each one trying to find one that uses the ingredient that you need to use, and none of it does. All right, well, maybe it's under gourmet cooking. Of course, my gourmet cooking is only level two, so it's not like I'm going to have a lot of choice. Oh, it shows me the level four things, even though I have insufficient skill weird. All right, well, I'm just going to have to make anything and hope that it gets my skill up enough to do something else. Everything requires prepped meat instead of a specific red or white meat. All right, let's just make the best thing that we can make. Can we actually make this? This is level four. No, I'm not going to take a chance. Let's make some gnocchi because we need to get rid of our prepped veggies anyway. And I've not seen anything that needs prepped fruit. I would think something maybe canning would use that, but I didn't see anything. 
You know, everything is just regular ingredients, not prepped ingredients. Mm -hmm. Maybe we could try baking. Mm -hmm. I know the hala sound, hala, I, I, I can't say that in the back of my throat. But anyway, I know that that sells for a lot. So if anybody's yelling in the comments to make hala, um, I would. But that's kind of boring just to make one thing. Okay, I'm just going to make some prepped meat because it seems like everything needs that. And then maybe I can make some cookie dough. And, well, even just prepped meat should get my appliance whiz aspiration progressed. Oh. oh, and this isn't the market magnate aspiration. I thought that's what it was. What does the, this even give me? Sims with this trait will get duplicates of any recipe where they cooked with prepped ingredients. Yeah, that's, that's okay. But what I really want is this one right here. Oh, we need pizza. Okay, yeah, I want this one because this one allows higher markup prices and more successful at convincing customers to, to buy. So yeah, I'm going to try and get this one as well. So Beatrice is going to work on two aspirations. And it looks like I'm not getting any harvest today, although we do have some weeds. Maybe I should fix that. All right, and we did that and make pleasantly unpleasant waffles. We need a trash fruit. Okay. And we need to get our upgrade skill up. Okay. Um, since that's a requirement to upgrade something, I might have to get her handiness up. Okay, time to transfer everything. Oh, I forgot. There's this thing. Grab all pantry items grab all fresh items oh that's so nice brazen lotus has some very nice mods so basically you can grab everything out of oh except for the prepped ingredients okay well you can grab most things out of the fridge all at once okay i emptied the fridge and now i'll put everything in the selling table over here and that way it'll stay fresh and no one will be able to eat it. And we might as well put the fruitcake in here. I mean, it's, it, it doesn't go bad, but that's fine. I'll sell it anyway. And then if I put it over here in this one, it won't automatically stock the table. So that'll be great. Oh, I need to repair this now. Okay, well, I need to get my handiness skill up, and I don't want it to cost me a lot of money. I only have 395 simoleons. Not sure if I want them dropping seed packets everywhere. Well, it probably will be good to get a lot of different fruit and veggies. You can't go wrong with coffee. When you're appeasing the gnomes, coffee is usually the answer. So if you don't remember, always give coffee first. Uh, but this little Grim Reaper guy, he wants a pie. And of course, the bunny wants a salad. So I'm not sure if the pie makes very much sense. But if you think of it as hell is hot, then the Grim Reaper likes pies because they're baked in an oven. <laughs> and then the rabbit, of course, likes a salad because he's a bunny. And then there's a little naked guy who wants a toy, which is kind of weird. But I guess he's in the tub, so he's playing with his toys in the bathtub. And I think that's all of the ones that I know of. I definitely know coffee works with all the others. Oh, the space alien. He wants a future cube. So the future cube is kind of futuristic, and the space alien is kind of futuristic. So that's how I remember all of these. And they're already dropping seed packets. I'm probably going to get a bunch of flowers that I don't need. Yeah, I don't want flowers. We'll just put them over here in the flower arranging table just in case someone needs them on a future part of this Let's Play. 
And I did kind of reorganize this seating area so we no longer have the picnic benches. I'm hoping they'll sit in these chairs. They were really expensive and they're comfortable, supposedly. I mean, they have comfort level seven. And I don't think that Sims prioritize comfort, but just in case they do, I did get some more comfortable chairs. And I think that they're just preferring to sit inside because it is warm. Or maybe they always prefer to sit inside. I don't know. Okay, we need to make some pizzas or waffles. And I think the other one also requires waffles. It does. Okay, so we should get the waffle maker, even though the pizza one is going to be more profitable because I have that alien fruit. Oh, and we can afford it. Okay. So we need some sweet batter, though. Okay, no problem. I have some. We'll make some mushroom waffles. That sounds disgusting, actually. Waffles are supposed to be sweet, and I don't know if I would put mushrooms in something that's sweet. I guess mushrooms are kind of a neutral taste, but I wouldn't like it. Oh, and we're going to need some trash fruit. So let's put this trash over here where no one can get it. And then we'll spawn some trash fruit. I do have another goal to cook during a silver event. Cook two pizzas or waffles at a single gold social event after reaching silver. Um, This is a food sale. Okay. Well, it looks like it says one out of two, like I'm doing it so let's cook another one then i need to upgrade my food mixer at least once yeah opal i know you're neat but why don't you make yourself useful by cleaning up empty glasses and things like that are there people sitting at my tables no well, at least there's nobody sitting inside yet oh well, no there they go inside okay they're always going to prefer to sit inside I can't do anything about it unless I want to take this indoor table and get rid of it. Which I don't really want to do. Ooh, the... Chaupino. Um, Siopano, Siopino. I, I don't know how to say that, but sorry. Um, and spaghetti is not that bad either. So some of these things do sell for a decent price. I'm making some different items now. Oh, faux meat and mash is pretty good. All right, so there are some things that sell better. I know that the um, waffles don't sell for very much. Okay, we need to sell five excellent pizza or waffles, though. I don't know if it needs to be during the same food sale or not. Are we at Christmas level 7? We are. Okay, so we can raise the prices a little bit again. Oh, that actually puts us at 300%. Oh, this is why none of the recipes use prepped white meat. Because this is Brazen Lotus CC. Whoops. Okay, so don't make any prepped white meat. Just make prepped meat. I learned my lesson. Maybe I'll have to down and prep fruit too. Okay, so we'll have to download some recipes for that, I suppose. Otherwise, those are going to go to waste. And then they may not work with the market stall. <laughs> we'll see. Hopefully they do. But faux meat and mash is 140 simoleons at 100% markup. So all of these are 100% markup. I did change it, but it just hasn't refreshed because I changed it at the very end of the sale. So... So far, faux meat and mash is the most profitable. Everything else looks to be kind of crappy. Oh, Siopino. Um, I don't know how to say that. It's probably Chalpino or something like that. Siopino uh, is a 92 simoleons at 100% markup. Oh, pumpkin stew is not bad. It's 40. But looks like everything else is a little bit crappy. In the meantime, I have installed Lovestruck, so we will be able to go on some blind dates. Let's set up our dating profile. Oh, really? It's an action? 
I can't just look at it like I look at stuff on my phone. With Social Bunny, you can just open it. Okay, we are not going to date an elder just because, as, to me, that's just kind of weird for a young adult to date an elder. Okay, so foodie and cheerful. Maybe we should do outgoing. Foodie and outgoing because cheerful is sometimes annoying. Oh yeah, so Beatrice is cooking in the kitchen. You can barely see it. Okay, well, I tried. Okay, so Reagan or Regan or Reagan, I don't know which one, is an art lover and a child of the islands. Penny is outgoing and romantic. Angelo is cheerful and creative. Dylan is a genius and a bookworm. Thomas is creative and a geek. Gabriella is a green fiend and a geek. Shauna is a perfectionist and generous. So we don't really have any turn-ons. I don't think I've set those though. Okay, let's set some turn-ons and turn-offs because I did not do that. I forgot they have that new thing. Okay, way of life. Definitely culinary. <laughs> and I don't think she cares about broke or not. Uh, drink making? Sure, we can have that be a turn-on. And she's not going to really care about anything else. Maybe she likes nature. Eh, we'll just leave her indifferent. Okay, and maybe she likes people who are self-employed because she's also going to be self-employed. Okay, characteristics. She's cheerful, so I don't think she would like an argumentative sim. And she will like high energy and not pessimistic because she's cheerful. So she likes optimistic. And I guess she likes to be emotional. No, never mind. I'm looking at the characteristics. It's erratic, hot-headed, jealous, or non-committal. It's basically, yeah, those are not, yeah, maybe um, funny sims are okay. Big. Romance styles. Okay, so she likes affection and she likes flirting. So maybe we'll put her as a polyamorous sim. I think I did. So she doesn't get jealous. And I'm not sure about hair color. I mean, that's kind of like, why would so? Oh, just not gray hair. <laughs> she doesn't want an elder. Let's put it that way. No gray, no white. Platinum is okay. Maybe she likes someone with black hair. And outfit color. Oh, pink. Definitely pink. Although she likes wearing pink. I'm not sure if she would like that in a partner, but we'll go with that. Oh, and not brown. Don't wear brown. Okay, fashion. I'm not seeing anything that really speaks to me except for maybe she doesn't like preppy as much. And then we'll leave everything else open. There's no cottage core type fashion. So I'm not sure what to select here. And that seems kind of limited. I mean... Those turn-ons and turn-offs are not that great. Okay, we'll put, she's also not compatible with pessimistic sims and argumentative sims. And maybe ambitionless sims. She doesn't work, get along with them either. Okay, there, we got some compatibility things. And that should do us. I already have her, um, yeah, I can't even look at it to edit it but I set that before I started is that she doesn't get jealous. So I'm not sure if we will find someone who also doesn't get jealous. Maybe we could have a threesome in this household. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Now to progress in our aspiration, we need to sell five excellent quality waffles and we're not auto stocking, but it, even though you don't auto stock, it automatically stocks when you start the sale. So I have to take everything out except for the waffles and then put everything back in. I have so much food that I'm not going to sell five waffles if I don't put just the waffles out. I'm just going to sell the preps that are CC and see if they'll sell on the selling table. 
I don't really want to download a whole bunch of new recipes because unfortunately they not only need prepped ingredients, but they also have new harvestables that are different. And I just don't want to mess with all that. Okay, let's try and get some sales. We have, I thought we had 300% markup. Why is the markup not correct? I have to set it again? Okay, that's better. Still only sells for about 32 simoleons a piece. It's not the greatest. Oh, this mushroom waffles are 80 simoleons a piece. That's not bad. Especially since you can just make them right here. Oh, I wonder how much the pleasantly unpleasant waffles sell for. They require a cooking skill of level 10. Oh, we need pomegranates. And how do you get saffron? That must be a spice. I think it is, actually. Oh, prep seafood. We can have cured fish waffles. That is absolutely disgusting. I would not put fish in waffles. Okay, one more sale. Okay, and that completes that sale. So now we need to run food sales from two different lots. Convince customers to buy something five times during a food sale. Uh, that might be kind of hard. Buy my mushroom waffles. They're more expensive. Okay, so we do need to go to a different lot at least once to run a food sale. We can't just run them all here in order to complete this aspiration. But that's fine. And I don't think this one will count because I wasn't on this step. Okay, I guess I don't have to sell just the waffles anymore. I'll just stock everything. Okay, so the prep stuff does sell for something at least. It's $20 or 20 simoleons. People are still eating around the food stall and nobody's going in here this time, but nobody wants to sit down and eat. Really? Why don't you sit down at the tables that I made for you? Everyone's just standing and eating in place. This is why I actually want to run a restaurant because this food stall idea is nice but it still doesn't seem like a legitimate food stall. okay one person one person has ever sat in a chair oh there they go okay so now two people have sat in a chair at my stupid food stall okay i need to convince someone else to buy oh i can't I'm probably going to have to do that at the very beginning. I don't know if it will count if it's a different food sale. Um, maybe it will. I don't think the counter will re reset. Maybe it doesn't have to be a single food sale. Because I won't have time to do it this time. My charisma is level 7. That is pretty good. Yes, buy the island vegetable feast. Because those are about to go bad. Okay, I'm happy now. They're sitting at my tables. That's all I really wanted. I, w I mean, it's nighttime, so it's not as hot, maybe. Although chance of thunderstorms. It should be sunny. Oh, no, I'm not wearing my jewelry anymore. So, no, it's not going to be sunny. Celebrity? Really? How? I'm getting fame for this? I didn't know that I would get fame by running a food stall. Is it supposed to be like that? I didn't even notice I was gaining fame. Okay, well, not gonna argue with it. So maybe we will do the one that gives you more money from your craftables. Oh, there it is. Established name. People are starting to recognize Beatrice's name. Now when she sells, publishes, or licenses something that took skill to create, hopefully that includes food. It probably doesn't. So I guess we'll go up that route until we get to this one. And then career hopper doesn't matter and easy street doesn't matter because we're not in a career. So we'll go up this one and then... I don't know, maybe the middle one after that. And I don't know. I don't know why she's gaining fame for this. She's going to be a famous baker. <laughs> uh, it is kind of weird. Okay, now that it's nighttime, 
we'll send everyone home and then we can put our stuff back in the refrigerator okay let's check on our trash pile it's doing good over here i don't see any trash plants yet though she had to go outside in order to run inside i hate that feature even if you buy storm chase oh no all of her stuff is broken now great and i was about to say even if you buy storm chaser they will still do that and it is so annoying all right time to put the gnomes back where they're supposed to go which i don't remember where they're supposed to go well i guess we'll leave our appliances out in the rain because that actually helps our handiness and gives us upgrade parts so yeah we'll put all of our food away is there a way to clear this and i don't want a clear table because i know that what because i know what that's going to do it's going to actually put everything in my inventory including what's inside the table which i do not want i just want everything to go back inside the table because it actually lasts longer if you leave it sitting out it won't last as long we have a ton of stuff in here i don't think we'll sell everything before it starts going bad but we need to start making other things that are more expensive. So what about baking? We'll make some sugar cookies. And we also need to work on gourmet cooking. Are you actually hungry, Beatrice? I guess you are. Fine, eat some of the food. This is all fully charged. What would really suck is if any of this got hit by lightning. So yeah. We'll take this inside, and maybe we should take the Plumbite gemstone inside. We don't really use that one, but you never know. We might have a use for it later. I know that the gourmet foods actually do sell for a lot, and then I think desserts sell for a lot. Okay, no trash fruit yet. Okay, we'll tend to the plants, and then maybe we'll have another sale. Okay, and this is cool. It actually tells you who the creators are if they come from the gallery. I like that. Oh, Melinda um, is a random townie, but that's okay. Oh, she's a foodie. Okay, we're going to have to favorite her. And this is one of EA Sims. No, I'm not picking someone who's mean and self absorbed why would you put that as your two traits that you're going to tell people about okay a cat lover and family oriented uh maybe loyal and outgoing so nicholas has a trait that beatrice considers a turn on so we'll definitely save him so saved i think melinda and nicholas are the two best matches so maybe we'll try to create a date with those two. So we'll start with just a get to know you date. Does it make you go now? I think it does. Yeah, that's fine. You could have a guest. Oh, that's actually kind of funny. We'll have a get to know you date first, just to make sure we're on the same page. Oh, we got to select a location. Okay, so we'll go to the bar. Okay, and I think this will make it so much easier to find appropriate sims to date. Yeah, I'll compliment her outfit, although I might be a little bit sarcastic about it. <laughs> She's a random townie, but maybe we can give her a makeover. So we'll share interests. Maybe that's discussing recipes. She's a foodie. She should like that. Okay, we are on a date. Although it is a get to know you date, so I don't know if this counts as a date. But Simon Scott is inserting himself into my conversation. I wouldn't mind that since it's a friendly conversation, but he's somewhere. There he is. He's all the way across the world and he stops our conversation because it's his turn to talk. Come on, we are on a date, even though this is a get to know you date. I want you to leave. I thought they weren't supposed to insert themselves, but like I said, it's probably because this is a friendly date. 
Okay, Melinda's doing okay for herself, which I really don't care about her financial status because mine is not too great and I'm not a gold digger. Okay, Simon, can you leave? Let's go get drinks. Maybe we'll have a strawberry nectar. That'll get you flirty. Did she drink my strawberry nectar? I think she did. Rude, Nina. The one time I'm going to let you be mean, Beatrice. Go away, Nina. You took my drink. Ugh. I hate when that happens. Okay, fine. I'll drink her drink. <laughs> it's like everybody gets some kind of bug and they all stand up. That happens in my game a lot. I need to figure out what's causing it. Attraction changed. Beatrice has learned more about Belinda and is now attracted to her. Because she's cheerful, maybe? Oh, that's a quality she did not tell me about in her profile. She's she's good. I thought she was a foodie and an overachiever. How can she be good and cheerful as well, unless she has discovery traits? I guess it's possible. She's an art lover. Where's the foodie? I could have sworn she was a foodie. Proper. How many traits do you have? Okay. Okay. We need to open Cupid's Corner. Melinda is an overachiever and a foodie. Did she lie? Because she's also proper, an art lover, good, and cheerful. That is awesome six traits if she's also an overachiever and a foodie and I guess it's not telling me she's an overachiever and a foodie because I already know that from her profile that is really deep she has six traits already okay so let's okay can we ask about boundaries before we get into a relationship Okay, I don't know about when you can ask about boundaries, but it would be nice to know that before we started a romantic thing. But, all right, well, we're going to check her out. Maybe we'll dance. Okay, I think we'll just keep this date, like, low-key, because we really don't know very much about her right now. Okay, discuss healthy relationships. Will that allow me to find out what her boundaries are i haven't watched very many let's plays on this pack yet so i don't really know very much about it simon go away oh she's unemployed that may or may not be a good thing okay silver date is fine we'll end it cheerfully she's proper so she might not like cheating or polyamorous relationships so i don't know we'll see anyway we'll go back and start a food sale now enough playing with the date pack okay just an update the new expansion came out and i was trying to play with it but unfortunately the game didn't save so we lost the date with whoever we went out with. I can't remember the name, but we did get a new date, which I replayed and didn't record with Marissa. So we also got a call from the weird stranger or the rich weirdo. I think it was the rich. Yeah, the wealthy weirdo. Okay. And it was actually Father Winter, which is actually Clement Frost. And he is very very wealthy he's actually wealthy he has 500,000 simoleons so we're going to go and meet him in see you dad and of course it's raining here's the hotel that we're looking for so we're going to meet the wealthy weirdo and he gives you some collectibles but i'm not sure i think this should be a lot more interactive than it is I'm just going to do it because it's kind of interesting. We're probably not going to get involved with Clement because he's just too rich. It'll make it too easy. 
And that's it. We met the wealthy weirdo. <laughs> okay, he gave us a bunch of collectibles. Honestly, we're probably just going to use them as decoration. And oh, we've got trash fruit. We have 10 of them. That's a lot. We'll be able to make the trash pancakes for our aspiration. And I think we're going to call it for dating for a while. We really just need some money. Okay, we'll make some mildly unpleasant waffles. Oh, we need some sweet batter. Do we already have some sweet batter? Of course, I'm out of milk. No, I'm not. It's in here. Gosh. All right, we'll prep some sweet batter, and then we'll be able to make the pancakes or waffles or whatever they are. Come on, food sale. Come over here and buy my stuff. Okay, that's it. We've done that. Okay, so we're starting a food sale at another lot. Um, there's a poor quality item. Well, there's island vegetable feast that has gone off. I don't think that counts as a poor quality. And it's not 100 simoleons. So that's the next thing that we need to do. I think we'll earn 500 simoleons in this food sale. It's real easy to do. I just need to sell a poor quality item for 100 simoleons, which I don't know how to get a poor quality item. Beatrice doesn't really suck at cooking, so how is this going to be possible? Let's see if I can get her to buy the spoiled island vegetable feast. Oh, pleasantly unpleasant waffles are 240 simoleons. That's expensive for waffles. And she bought it. Oh, that's gross. Sorry. We kind of also need to get the recipe for ambrosia. Because we need to sell ambrosia to a ghost in order to resurrect them. That's going to be really difficult. I think that's probably one of the more difficult aspirations to achieve because of that. Oh, is she hot? You are, aren't you? Okay, why are you in your cold weather wear when it's warm? Oh, and she's going to go talk to the ghost for some reason? No, go back to your table. Okay, start buying things. Let's see if we can sell the pleasantly unpleasant waffles. No, she doesn't want to pay for them. Okay, I can see why, because they're made from trash fruit and they cost a ton of money. Oh, she bought one. Oh, that one must have been spicy. Sorry, Una. Okay, that satisfied our 500 simoleons during a specific sale. Now we need to find a poor quality item to sell. Unfortunately, we only make excellent food. It doesn't say how much this is. It's poor quality and it's honey. I don't think it's 100 simoleons. If I sell it, it's only 18. No, that's not going to work. Okay, in my experience, this thing tends to get a lot of poor quality stuff. And I think it has something to do with either the grody lot trait or the fact that you leave it in here too long. So if you don't collect it, it ends up being poor quality. I'll try that. So basically, I'm going to leave this all day and see if I get poor quality out of it. And then in the meantime, we will start a food sale because we're waiting for our jewelry over here to basically get recharged. It needs two more hours. So that's why I ended the other food sale early because I wanted to come back to the lot so that the jewelry could charge. And today is also supposed to be the Finchwick Fair. What fair is going on today? Oh, the chicken fair and the egg competition. Yeah, we're really not going to participate in that. I think the first thing that we'll do for Beatrice is probably build a little animal area and get some goats and some chickens. Because as soon as I have goats and chickens, I believe that gives me milk and eggs. And that's all I need to be 100% self-sufficient. I already have the ability to make my own flour and my own sugar. Oh, faux meat and mash is 280 simoleons. I forgot about that because it's been a little while since I played because I was unfortunately not able to play a few days after I installed Lovestruck. 
Okay, we made 1,824 simoleons. I'm not sure how long this has to sit here for. I do know it has to sit there for a while. Maybe it's the cats that made it poor quality, but I have another Let's Play where I have cats on the lot and this thing almost always comes out as poor quality. I think maybe it's because I leave it in here for too long. So I'm going to leave it all day and hopefully at the end of the day, this will be poor quality. So we're just going to keep having bake sales. I know this is kind of boring, but I have almost 6,000 simoleons. So my goal for today is just to make enough in order to build a small building that we can put the chicken coop in and some goats. And maybe we should make like faux meat and mash as a priority dish. I think I'm going to stop making the island vegetable feast once everything sells because it doesn't sell for very much. Oh, Beatrice has been selected for the seven wild dates. I've seen this on other Let's Plays, and all I did was go on one date and meet the mysterious or wealthy weirdo. So I don't think you have to do a lot of romantic interactions to get this to show up. I think it's just going to show up no matter what. Okay, so should we do this? Um, I'm going to say my love is not for sale. I don't want her to get extra money from doing something like this. I mean, maybe we will do it with someone who has a lot harder time making cash. But I don't think that doing this is going to be part of this Let's Play. And she says, we respect that. It's okay. We have another reality show idea. Love Isle Crumple Bottom Edition. It's going to be great. I think I'm going to do Love Isle Crumple Bottom Edition for my Let's Play since I aged down Agnes Crumple Bottom. That's a really good title. Oh, did somebody steal my food? Somebody served it. Ah, and it's excellent. Great. All right. Well... There goes that idea. I think maybe I'll have to get her in a bad mood, which is going to be difficult. Maybe if I have her eat something or use the toilet, because I do have the grody lot trait on. Okay, there we go. We got the plus five uncomfortable. Now we have to get the other one. Um, hmm. Maybe we'll try to make something and pinch our fingers. Oh no, she dislikes handiness because I got her uncomfortable. Okay, well, I guess we'll go with that. Okay, now if we try to make something, hopefully not something that is on the stove. Although she does have the thing that doesn't let her start fire, so maybe it's okay. She has low-level gourmet cooking. Okay, maybe we'll try the avocado maki roll or spinach for tata prep seafood okay um salt and pepper shrimp cocktail hopefully this turns out bad because she's in a bad mood only for 37 minutes though <laughs> and you shouldn't start a fire because i have something that's supposed to prevent that please tell me this is poor no it's excellent Oh, she has that ability that makes everything that, yeah, essence of flavor. Sims with the essence of flavor make higher quality food and drink. Wow, this is going to be tough. She's very uncomfortable. And she's making something that is kind of low level skill. Oh, but she has really good appliances too. This needs to be cleaned though. So maybe if I do it again. It won't produce exit quality food. Oh, this is terrible. I guess maybe I could have someone else make it. But that seems to be cheating. How can I make something that's poor quality? I'm going to have to look it up. If anybody has any ideas in the comments, let me know. Um, I'm not sure how else I'm going to make poor quality food. I mean, she's in a bad mood and she was cooking. And for some reason, she just 
Yeah, she just makes good quality food. It's just not possible to make bad quality food, I guess. Maybe I could try baking. Yes. Oh, and now she's very confident. Well, and now she's very inspired. Okay, and she's already level two of the baking skill. Excellent. Not even normal quality. It's excellent. What if we sold something that was spoiled? Does that count? It probably doesn't. A lot of these things are not worth 100 simoleons anyway. Well, it's the end of the week. And so next time, Beatrice will have her own chicken coop and some goats. So this is Charity. Thanks for watching. Thank you.